Welcome back, folks. In this video, we're going to be opening 488 of the Frost Researchers crates. I'm going to go ahead and warn you that halfway through this video, I get about half lit and kind of get a little spicy. Emotions may be shining through a little bit on my feelings about this event and the drop rates from these crates. But I also think that anybody who's played this event and went into it trying to get a specific item out of these crates can sympathize and also knows exactly where I'm coming from with some of my, my angry rants that happened toward the end of this video. So with that being said, let's jump right into the video and all have a good laugh at my bad luck. Welcome back folks. Back on Johnny Salami. I've got a ton of frost crates. I'm up to probably a little over 600 opened and I still have not gotten the FG42. Seraphium sent me 77 crates and Rand sent me 25 and I had another 14 of my own. So I decided I'm just gonna, just to see how terrible my luck is. We're gonna open 116 crates and see what we get. I'm really honestly not expecting to get the FG42. The only thing I'm missing from the crate still is the FG42 and the armor. So let's just start it up. Pretty far for the course. I've legitimately gotten everything that can be gotten multiple times. I've gotten multiple cauterizers multiple bone knives, multiple cryomancers. I take that back. I haven't gotten the Mac 10 twice. I got the Mac 10 the one time. I think I'm going to honestly start re-rolling the, uh, these things if I've got the money. I'm not going to re-roll any of the, the mods because those sell for quite a bit of bones. The RNG on these is fucking terrible. Like I said, I honestly, even up, even though I'm opening 116 crates right now, I don't expect to get it. I'll be broke by the time I'm done with this. I'm done re-rolling. I'm down to 160k. Such garbage drop rates. Whoops. Got another Mac 10. Which I honestly might just keep. This damn scope again. Oh my God. Such terrible odds. Did they ever put out what the percentages were? Maybe we're supposed to let them open. Maybe we have to not skip. Let's just not skip. I usually skip because I don't want to have to sit here and watch this on everything. Just to be disappointed. Down to 40 crates after this one. 39. Oh, my 
God, the terrible, terrible luck. So this is, if I, if I make it through all of these without getting it, this is going to put me above 700 crates opened. Like, I'll be at like seven, probably 20 or something. The amount of armor paints and keychains you get is ridiculous. This is my like fifth or sixth laser. Like I don't even keep the lasers anymore because I've got like three of them still. What sucks is seeing that purple light up when you let them slow open. Only to get the laser or the fucking knives again. Or the damn... I've gotten that Ace Care scope like 12 times now. That and the 556 suppressor. I've gotten a ton of those. Oh my god, I can't believe my luck is this terrible. Well, actually, yeah, I can. 100% can. Such terrible rolls. You know what? I played the, um, I made two new characters. I made another bandit and another stalker so that I can eventually go back and redo the swamp quests since they're all changed now. Not the main stories, but the, uh, the, the side missions. And I realized playing the little intro again, they let you get the MAC-10 and the ump off of enemies at the very beginning of the game. So why are they not in game? I love these uh, armors that you can't sell back. Those are always a blasty blast. Twenty thousand bones. Now the real question is, how many of these lasers do I still have? I've still got four of the lasers. I don't think I need to keep that. Also, how much does that sell for? Fifteen hundred. Ooh, I might sell the Mac Ten. We're gonna keep it for now. But I may go back and sell it. Uh, we have 22,190. Oh, 
Also, I, I can get 27. Great. Alright, this is going to put us back up to, let's see, we were at 116 crates. This is going to make the total 143 crates. And we're going to slow open them so that if it is a purple, it breaks my fucking heart when it's something besides the, the gun. And the business. We call this foreshadowing. Like getting the expensive stuff to sell back. Oh, a lot of whites. Okay, we got to reroll. Damn it! Rerolled it for another fucking white. Honestly, I just want to get this gun so that I can stop farming the event and start doing something else. I'm so tired of the event. But I feel like I can't stop until I get the gun or the event ends and I just don't get it. So. See, I always builds you up. I'm like, oh, I got a purple. And then it's the fucking suppressor again or the sight. It's anything but the gun. I can't believe my luck is this terrible. I'm drinking tonight. I swear to God. It's going to be get drunk and farm the event type of night. Three left. And I've already gotten a purple, so I do not see getting anything else good out of these. Last one before I sell back shit. Yeah, that's about about par for the course. Fuck it. Reroll that one. Oh, I got a, probably a paint that I can't sell. All right, let's sell back and buy some more. Forty nine eighty. So we're at fifty five seventy. So I can get six more. All right, so that puts us up to 150 crates, not counting the re-rolls I paid for. Damn optic again. I've gotten a ton of those too. I've gotten a ton of the green Leopold and the blue underbarrel grips, the ANG 40, ANG fours or whatever they are. All right, let's sell back and buy some more. So we can buy two. So that. Puts us to 152. No clue who the fuck that is. Shit. 
Should be enough to buy one more. And a white. <sighs> Let's go broke. Boo. Let me go see who this is at my door. <sighs> Somebody trying to sell some shit. All right, let's sell that back. Buy one more. Boo. All right, well, that was 153. Yeah, that was 153, not including the rolls. So that puts me up to about, I think I was at about, that's probably closer to 650. So I'm around 800 cases in now and still have not gotten the FG42. So I'm going to farm up some more crates and I'll see you guys here in a minute. We'll open some more because with as dog shit as these drop rates are on some of the stuff in these crates, I feel like I don't have a choice but to farm and pray that I finally get the gun out of the frost crates. And I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys, this event and how terrible the drop rates are on the frost researchers crates with guns that are not available any other way honestly makes me not even want to play the game. I don't want to put any time into the game anymore. Like every time I come home where I used to be excited to go and farm and like make a new gun and do showcases or make guides and stuff like that, it's turned this game into not a game and to more of a, a job where I feel like I don't have a choice but to grind. I'll be surprised if I get the gun at all at this point. It wouldn't be that bad if there were any other way to get those guns, but that's enough of me uh, venting. So I'm going to get off here and fucking watch a movie and grind this stupid event out. I'll see you guys here after I get a few more crates. All right, so we're back. I have farmed up 51 more crates, which makes it a total of 205 crates today. So let's do another round of opening. Oh, wait, we're going to actually let all these roll out the long way. I've also started drinking. Went and got me some rum. Because if I'm going to be have to endure this garbage drop rates, I'm going to at least be half lit doing it. So this will make 871 crates. Oops, I forgot. Had it. One of the guys in the Covenant Discord I was just talking to pulled two FG42s within 10 crates of each other last night. Here I am. Can't get one to drop to save my life. All the blues and whites. <sighs> Just sadness and disappointment. Oh, every time I see a purple, it gives me that little ray of hope. 
and then it just fucking rips it away. Do I want another one of those? I've already got like two. Wait, where are they? Oh. Yeah, I've already got two of those. I don't think I want... I'm not probably not going to keep the other one. Are you fucking shitting me? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Well, there went all my luck. Two purples back to back, the same fucking kilometer site. Every time I think there's a light at the end of the tunnel that I may be done with this grind and can go back to actually playing the game. Oh, they just pull the rug out from under me. Another Mac 10. Third Mac 10. Are you serious right now? You're fucking killing me, bro. You're teasing me. You're fucking cock teasing me with these purples and then they turn out to be something I've already got. Oh, sad day. Well, at least I'll get some decent money back from selling all this stuff and buy some more crates. Yeah, we're going to have to buy more crates with the uh, bones. Now, let me double check. I still have another Mac 10, right? Like, don't I have... Yeah, I've got another one right here. Do I really need to keep more than one? Or do I just need to sell them all back? We rocking eleven four hundred. Another fourteen crates. So we're up to two hundred and nineteen crates on the day. Not including the re-rolls. At least that sells for a good bit of bones. can't believe I pulled two purples back to back and they were the same damn thing. And then like a couple later, we got the, the purple suppressor again, which I've gotten like, I don't know how many times now. And that was all my purple luck for a while, I think. Literally two things I need. One that I don't even care about. I really don't care about the armor. I just want the weapon. Oh, sad day. All right, well, let's sell this and buy what we can. Oh, and we got one of the armors that you can't sell back because... 
reasons. So what are we looking at? 2520. Oops. So three crates. We're up to 222. Such sad, much wow. All right, so up to 222 crates for the day. Uh, I'm going to farm up some more, see what happens. I'll see you guys in another couple hours, I guess. All right, I got a few more crates. We're just going to go ahead and open these. And I think this is going to be it for the night because I am tired. I don't feel like farming this anymore. Sell all this crap. Oh, yes. Another one that you can't sell anything. You can buy another two. I always get excited when I see purple, but then I'm always let down. That's 898. I think I still have some cash on Tony. We're about to buy some crates. I don't know how much cash he's got anymore, though. Oh, he does not have cash. I thought he did. All right. I've consolidated all what little money I have. We're going to try to buy a couple crates should be able to get at least one okay so this will make it an even 900 crates opened that way we ended on a nice even number well actually it looks like we're gonna do 901 Either way, that's 901 crates opened. Still have not received the FG42. Uh, we're going to farm some more tomorrow. This is what my life is now. I don't get to play the game to have fun. I have I have to play the game to grind and try and get a damn gun that's only available one way. So I'll see you guys tomorrow and we will continue the descent into madness that is this bullshit event. All right. So over the course of the day, it is now almost 9.30 p.m. I farmed up another... 101 crates doing the event this is going to put me if i open every one of these this is going to put me at a total of a 1001 crates opened so let's open this and see if we get the fg42 i'm not gonna lie i've been drinking a lot today doing this event don't want to do this event i'm just doing it trying to get the fg42 to make a showcase video on it so let's open these up and see what happens and i'm actually going to let all these open like this instead of skipping it, so. Still drinking rum and coke. Join me, if you will. Join me in drinking in disappointment. Not looking good so far. A whole lot of whites and blues. Yep. More whites. Why are you saying it like that? Wheatins. Why are you putting so much emphasis on the H? What are you talking about? I'm just saying Wheatins. 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 Oh my god. Come on, give me the FG-42 and end my suffering. 
please. Please. You're not helping. More quats. Another SVD handguard. Yes. I would want multiple of those if you could. Thank you. For fuck's sake. Yes. Give me the worst scope in the game. If I could have multiples of that, that that just tickle me pink. It would. Can a brother get a pink? Preferably the FG42. So that I can end my suffering. Please. Please help. Please. I must have been like overly cruel to puppies in a last life to get this shit <laughs> of RNG. Did I kick kittens in a previous life? Uppercut a toddler? Like what did I do to deserve this bad of RNG? <sighs> Man. Yeah, give me another white. Why not? I don't know what that noise was. Yep. Love camos that are all the same goddamn color. Love white camos. The only difference between which are like small gray lines. Leopold? Called it. I'm a goddamn psychic. I'm like Miss Cleo. Call me now for your fucking psychic reading. More quats. Oh, sad day. Yeah, the the icicle butt plug. That's what I wanted. How did you know? Thanks, I hate it. This is fucking ridiculous at this point. It really is. The frost fighter skin. Thank you. I'm now a shittily clad bank robber. Thank you so much. How did you know that's what I wanted? More white camos. That's what I need in my life. Fuck me sideways. Oh boy. Not looking good, boys and girls. Not looking good whatsoever. Thank you for the the goddamn stick. I, I love sticks with ice on them. Yeah, give me another little fucking ice cluster. Swear to God. Thank you for yet another scope. Is this a fucking joke to you, Xbo? Jesus Christ. Okay, that is all of the bound crates. Now we have 48 of the 
unbound ones. Let's see what kind of bullshit we get from this. Sweet baby Jesus. With your balled up fist and your golden fleece blanket, please, for the love of God, what? That's that's what I wanted. Thank you for the seventh cauterizer. Can your boy get a goddamn FG42? I would uppercut a nun at this point for an FG42. I don't care anymore. I want the FG42. Why do you keep giving me shit that I've already got? For fuck's sake. When the, the fucking purple is more rare than the reds, there's a problem. I need more alcohol, I swear to fucking God. I'm gonna end up spending so much goddamn money tonight because I'm already half drunk. We haven't even seen a purple yet. We saw that red, which that is, I think, the seventh cauterizer I've gotten. If you give me another fucking emotional damage. You think you're helping, but you're fucking not. I swear to God. Why are these not sellable or tradable? Make them not sellable, but make them tradable so that I can give these to people who don't have them. Why the fuck am I getting multiples of the good drops? But yet I'm up to almost a thousand crates after I get done opening all these and have still not gotten the one fucking thing I want. Oh my God. I'm so irritated right now. X bow can Every time I see purple, I get that shimmer of hope that it's gonna be the FG42. And every time I get fucking let down. Twenty five left. It's not looking good. It really isn't. Fucking double cauterizers and this suppressor. Why? Why do you hate me, Expo? Why? Please, in my suffering, give me the gun so that I can fucking stop doing this bullshit event that nobody likes. Spoiler alert, this event is dog shit. Expo, if you're watching this, 
this is a blueprint of what not to do next year during this event. Oh my god, I've gotten like 12 of these. Stop showing me purples if it's not the fucking gun. I'm going to ram my dick into the wall. I swear to God. I'm so fucking done with this event. This is the worst fucking event I've ever played in any game. The devs of this game seem so out of touch with anything for most people. Like the fact that they don't understand that nobody wants to play an event because they feel like they're forced to just to get an item. Let's go sell all this bullshit back and then buy more crates. Jesus fucking Christ on a cracker. All right, so another 30 crates, which is going to put me at a total so far, if I open all these, of 1,031. Just the fact that there's no bad luck insurance in this crate opening slash event where they make everything that's out of the crates available through bones. Even if it's a super high amount, like just say... The armor costs 250,000 bones. The FG costs 100,000. The MAC-10 costs 90,000 or 85,000. Whatever it is. It gives you something to work towards. This is just pure RNG bullshit. And the worst part is... The percentages seem to be so fucking low... That the chance of actually getting what you want... If it's one of the guns or the armor... You're better off just not even fucking trying. Level the battle pass. And then after that, don't even log into the game. They seem like they don't give you any option to get the item that you want out of these crates through grinding, which would still mean you're playing their game but you're actually playing it with an objective. Whereas the way it is now, it seems like you're playing the game out of spite, trying to get the whatever you're trying to get. If you want the armor, the MAC-10, the FG-42, the blue laser, whatever it is, make it obtainable by sheer time put in or something. But to have something in game that you can't obtain other than this event by nothing but luck, is the worst fucking blueprint I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Another ATG silencer. Thank you, Expo. Shit, at least CSGO. Those crates you can trade up if you have enough of an item. If you have enough blues, you can trade up to the next level. You don't get to choose what you get, but you can trade up. Overwatch, if you get fucked on all the crates, you can buy the actual skin you want using the coins that you get either from playing or the crates. This game, if you don't get what you want, fuck you. It's the worst fucking system I've ever seen in a goddamn game. I apologize that I'm a little bit fucking angry, but I've over a thousand crates opened at this point and I still haven't gotten the purple gun which, by the way, is not the best gun in the fucking game. Still haven't gotten that shit. Mm. 
this event has single-handedly made me not want to even play the game anymore. That's what the event's done. Another eight, so ten thirty nine total. Yeah, that's what I need another, like the 20th fucking vertical foregrip. Thank you. Which, while we're talking about it, like the vertical foregrip and things like that, like this and the, the scopes that are recolors, all those are great. Don't get me wrong. But they're also already in game and you can get the variant of them if you don't get this. So yeah, you don't have the white version, but you can still go and make just the ANG fourth vertical grip, which is the black version of these white ones. They're still obtainable in game. The armor, the MAC-10 and the FG-42, along with the Kalimeter sight and the 556 suppressor, the, the white one, those aren't in game. The only way you can get those is through this bullshit fucking system, which you're most likely not going to get unless you do just a fucking ton of buying them with real money buying them off the auction house or just farming the event for fucking ever. So this is going to be 1040. Yeah, what do you know? Another goddamn camo that nobody fucking cares about. Thank you, Expo. Thanks for making 64 variants of a white camouflage. How did you know that's what we wanted as a community? This is going to be 1041. Oh, another white. How did, how did I, I couldn't have fucking ever guessed that you gave me the same keychain 700 fucking times. Thank you so much. All right. So at this point I'm drunk and I don't give a shit. We're buying 40 more levels, which is 80 crates, which is going to put me at 1121 crates. What do you know? More white shit. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted. Another icicle butt plug. Thank you so much. How did you know? Thanks. I hate it. How many fucking white armors and camos can you make? Seriously. Thank you. Again, that's good for when I'm going to go rob a bank. That's amazing. I think I'm up to like, what, $350 into this stupid fucking game at this point. And at this point, I'm just buying these things out of spite, which honestly is a terrible fucking idea because you're just helping the developers out who obviously... Yeah, give me another cauterizer. Oh, a cryomancer. I'm sorry. Give me another red. God forbid you give me the fucking purple that I've been trying for for the last 1,000 and something crates. 
I'm so fucking irritated with this goddamn game. I really am. This event may be the thing that breaks me to the point that I don't play this game anymore. And I'm honestly curious as to how many other people it's the event has just turned off to the game. Why you can get duplicates of the big items, I don't understand. And if you do get duplicates, why can you not trade those in? Let's just say you could trade in 20 of the blues, the blue attachments even for a roll up of a purple. You don't know what the purple is going to be, but just a chance to get a purple. That way, at least you could save all these stupid fucking blues that we get thrown at us in the way of these bullshit camos nobody likes. Trade those in for a chance roll at a purple. Maybe you can get the gun. This is unreal. It really is. Like, if this event has done nothing else, it's made me never want to recommend anybody else play this game. If this is how terrible the drop rates are on crates, what's the point? But I don't think I could in good conscience tell anybody that I know who was thinking about playing this game. Yeah, you should play this game. It really rewards your time put in. Well, 40 down. Got another 40 to be disappointed. Does anybody actually like all these white camos that are pretty much copy paste with just a small difference? I want you all to look, look at these fucking nine camos right here. Those are all different camos. Are they different enough to give a fuck? Why do you have this many white camos other than trying to pad the stats of your bullshit frost crates? And I don't even mean that in all due respect. I don't care about respect anymore. Why do you have this many white camos that are so close and so similar? Looking at these six right here, they are similar enough that you would not be able to tell the difference if you just glanced at them just real quick. If somebody had them on their armor, you would have no fucking clue which one they had on their armor. Aside from trying to pad the stats of what's in a crate, would you have that many? I'm so, dude, this event, this event may break me. This event may make me stop making content on this game. Just because of how dog shit the drop rates are on everything. I'm sorry, not everything. God, not everything at all. All the things that anybody wants out of these crates, the drop rates are so fucking abysmal. What's the point? Honestly, I wish that I had stopped at the beginning of week two, after I got done with the AUG quest line, I wish I had stopped even going into the event. I could have just started farming the materials for the barter items, like the, the barter weapons that you're actually guaranteed to get. Because trying to open these crates is like being in a fucking abusive relationship. You know the person is a piece of shit, AKA Expo, but you keep going back thinking that there's a redeeming quality. Well, guess what? There's fucking not. There's just 
more and more white camos that you're praying to God will be a purple that you actually wanted. This is the worst fucking event I've ever played in any game in my life. At least most games give you the fucking option. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted. The, the fifth bone knife. At least most games give you an option of turning in items that you don't want to be able to put toward the item that you did want out of a crate. But not this game. They just want you to dump countless hours into trying to get crates to no avail. Honestly, if you're watching this video and wondering if you should try and farm the event, don't. Level your battle pass because those items are guaranteed. You get up to level 90, you're guaranteed the fridge, which is like a slightly worse cocoon, but it's free. So that's good. But then after that, do not ever do the event again. Because doing the event in hopes of getting something out of a crate that's worth a shit is pretty much asinine. I'm going up on a thousand and... Oh, I'm sorry. After I finish out opening up these, which I have another six crates, after I finish these six crates, that'll be 1,121 crates. And I still have not gotten a purple tier gun that is nowhere near the best gun in the game. It's just a gun that I wanted because it's unique. And the only way to get it is from these crates. Out of 1,121 crates, I've only gotten three MAC-10s. So, I definitely would not recommend anybody actually farm this event. Plus the fact that one of the paints you get for the armor, you can't even sell back for fucking bones to try and get something different. I don't know if it was an oversight or they just don't give a shit, which I'm, I'm assuming that they just don't give a shit. They didn't even realize you can't do anything with this. So I've just been deleting them because what the fuck else am I going to do with these damn things? Another 22 crates. So this is going to be 1143 crates after I open these. And I apologize if it seems like I'm a little bit irritated, but I'm a lot irritated. I'm super fucking pissed at how shitty the drop rates are on anything that anybody would want from these crates. Nobody wants 750 fucking keychains. I'm sorry. I think what pisses me off more than anything is that I really, really like this game. But this one event has single-handedly made me not want to play it ever again. Like the actual event was okay. The quest line for the event, I enjoyed. But the battle pass not being able to level the battle pass except for being in the event dog shit the fact that there's no bad luck insurance to where you can trade either a ton of bones or a specific item or trade in a set number of one quality item for another quality item so let's just say you could trade in 20 whites for a blue or 20 blues for a purple or hell 10 purples for a chance at a red if you wanted the knives, the fact that there's no trade up for a random item or a set number of bones for a specific item, even if it was a super high amount, even if you put the FG 42 for, let's just say shit, I don't know, a hundred thousand bones, at least that gives the community something to work towards to where you're like, you know what? At the end of these three weeks, if I save my bones, if I get super unlucky, I can still buy that gun that I wanted. Or if I get super unlucky, and save up everything, 
I can buy those two guns I want. I can buy the MAC-10 and the FG-42. Or if I get super unlucky, I can just pull it up and buy for 200,000 bones, I can buy the armor. Whatever you didn't get out of the actual event, you can save up bones and get that item. Why that's not a thing, I don't fucking know. I'm talking to you, Expo, if you're watching this video. Figure it the fuck out. Nobody wants to play a game for three weeks and not get the fucking item that they wanted out of it. All you're gonna do is push players away or make them so angry that they don't like your game anymore. Nobody wants to spend three weeks trying to get an item, not get that item, and on top of that, that, that item is not available anywhere else in game. You're not rewarding time put into the game with anything. It's just complete fucking RNG if I get what I wanted to get, especially with an event that's limited time. It's not like I can farm this event for the next year and eventually I'll get it. No, it's going to be gone. Who knows? Next spring, this might not even be the same crates. You may get completely different items out of the crate next spring. This is 1148 crates after I open these. Yeah, Kilometer Site. That's what, number 13? Thanks. I hate it. So 11.49. Can I sell this back and get a nice even 11.50? Nope. A little bit. Oh, do I have money? I don't have any money. Fuck. All right. I'm going to do a blizzard. We're going to make this an even 11.50 ish. So I'm going to do this blizzard. And I'll see you guys in a minute. All right. So I did another anomalous blizzard and that gave me four more crates, which technically is going to put me up to... 1153 crates, but we're going to go ahead and open those. I was trying to get a right, nice round number, but I mean, it is what it is. I may be able to buy one more after these give me nothing and I can trade this stuff back in. How did I know it would be more camouflages? Just what I always wanted. So 11.54. And I don't think I'm going to have enough to buy another one. Nope, that's 7.30. So we have opened a total of 1154 crates. Still have not gotten the FG42 or the armor which like I said before, I don't care about the armor. I just wanted the gun. Honestly, this event has broken me. Like I, I don't even want to play the game anymore. That's how shitty this event and the drop rates for the things from the event have been. <laughs> the Twitch drops for this event were complete shit. The drop rate of the things from the farmable crates slash buyable crates. If you buy levels past the max battle pass level, the drop rates are complete shit. I, I don't feel like you're rewarded at all for the time you put into this event. What irritates me the most is I really like this game, but I feel like I have wasted the last three weeks farming this event for crates in the hopes that I would be able to get the things out of the crate that I wanted. Honestly, if you haven't already stopped farming the event, Stop farming the event. Just go farm something else. Go farm barter items. Go farm the Red Forest or Yanov or Lamansk. Go farm something you can actually see a goal line, a finish line for. If you go farm those things for actual barter items, there's a goal line. There is a finish line that you can actually see and say, if I get this many of this thing, I can get that item. The event is essentially farming something in the hopes that the RNG will be in your favor. And from my experience, the RNG will not be in your favor. So if you haven't already quit playing the event, just quit playing the event. It's not fucking worth it. If you're done with your quests and have maxed your battle pass out, don't even go into the event. So if you take anything away from this video, take watching my bad luck with opening these things and don't waste your time. I wish I could say the event was worth it. It's not. I think I'm done with the event. At this point, I've still got another three days to farm crates. 
I don't know if I'm actually going to do it. <laughs> this event has single-handedly made me not want to play this game at all anymore, which sucks because I had a lot of videos planned for this game. But like I said earlier, this event has completely broken my spirits, which honestly is a fucking feat anyway, because I will farm stuff to the bitter end in most games. But just trying to farm this event for the item that I wanted has completely shattered my spirits. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just jaded because I've farmed up 1154 crates and still not gotten the FG42 whip. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just like feel slighted, which honestly I kind of do. But with that being said, if you got all the stuff out of the crates that you wanted, I'm happy for you. I'm not going to lie. I'm hundred percent disappointed with how the event turned out and the fact that I've dumped almost three weeks of my life into something that I still didn't get the item that I was looking for. And there's no way to get it past this point. Like after the events over the FG 42 and the max in apparently are just things of the past, something that you can't get anymore. So I don't know. I hope they eventually add them in the game to where you can barter for them. Anywho, I'm going to go get some more alcohol, continue drinking and probably play a different game because this one has severely let me down. So if you enjoyed this descent into madness, go ahead and drop a like comment and subscribe. But with all that being said, I hope you guys have a good one. I really hope that everybody else got everything from the event that they were wanting. And I will catch you guys in the next video. You guys have a good one.